OMG BBG! What's going on guys? Another BBG Talks right after we just did one? What's going on? There's so much news happening with Beyblade X, so here's another BBG Talks where we talk about the other important topics. Yeah, so after we released the video about the Transformers collab, there was like a bunch of other stuff that dropped because Coral Coral was released like that same time basically. And we are getting a Beyblade X video game. Oh my god. So similar to the Beyblade Burst video game from Switch and the 3DS game from way before that, um, we are getting another Switch game this time and it's under the Beyblade X umbrella. Uh, it's called Beyblade X X1, or is it X Zone? Yeah. How yeah, would you was, guys pronounce it? Yeah, is it X1 or is it Zone? I don't know. I feel like Zone might be the play. I think it's Zone, but yeah, hard to say. It is coming out on Steam as well, so that is cool. Yeah, I mean, overall though, you guys are probably going to be pretty hyped up about this one because you can actually do online battles and there is an original story for the game too, which is really cool because that was lacking in previous games. Yeah, but one thing that's a little bit sus is that the uh, artwork for the box art on the Switch game, for example, is the exact same as the animation art uh, from the anime. And I feel like they're just dumbing it down a little bit. That's like signs of the game not being that much, like that invested in the game, you know what I mean? Like the budget. Fair. Yeah, it's like the same key visual that you that they've been using for the anime since day one. So it's like a over like a year old image. Yeah, I, I agree though. Like they could have come up with like at least a custom or like a you know a special key visual for the game. Yeah, so. but most people are gonna be buying the game just to have that exclusive bay. Um, we're getting a shinobi knife bay from Takara Tomi on the Japanese like Japan side of things. Many of you know this Beyblade is knife. Shinobi from Hasbro, right? So it's basically like the same bay. This one, of course, gets a metal coat. Uh, we may as well go through the parts too. Like we're getting a 460 ratchet, which is like in a special color. And I actually think the next part's really sick, like this LF bit, also in a special color, looks really good. But yeah, like at first we thought, okay, Takara told me isn't going to release this bay, but I guess they were just keeping it in their back pocket and waiting for this drop. Right, waiting for the game to release to include it. Yeah, and the game in the bay is going to be released November 14th. So that's still months away. Uh, I wonder how the game, like the content of the game will be handled. Like, are there going to be newer bays inside the game? And I'm a, a little bit worried about the content itself. For sure. I actually think the price tag is a little bit high too, but that's just me. You know, the Switch game looks like it's going to be 8,228 yen after taxes. So that's about $72 Canadian and it was like $53 US or something like that. Yeah, it's the price of the bay. They know people want to buy the bay. Exactly. Assuming that the game will cost a little bit less if you're buying it on Steam. If you do buy it on Steam, you're not going to get the bay with it. Hopefully the gameplay and everything like that is going to blow us away. There are a few images that are out there um, on the website and everything that you guys can see. You know, you see the bays clashing and there's even an image of the gameplay there, like with different gauges that you have to charge up in order to probably do like a special move or something. So, so far, I'm like, it looks kind of cool, but it could be like a really repetitive type of game. I don't know. It's hard to say. Man, people are just so used to the mobile games nowadays. I don't know if uh, they will pay that much attention to like a dedicated Switch or a Steam game, unless the game is really good. You know what That's I mean? It's true. Sounds good. So looking forward to seeing more about the Switch game coming soon in November. Uh, but coming sooner to us is the next product release, BX33. It's a booster and this just got hot news in the press. Um, this is Vice Tiger. So Vice Tiger 360U, it's going to be a booster. Dude, the colorway just looks so cool. All silver, super metallic. Yeah, it actually looks so good, man. Like when I first saw the photos like a couple days ago, I was like, yo, man, I'm get getting like cyber Drigger vibes. I don't know why. Mm. That's like the first thing I thought of uh, from the OG days. Shout out to anyone that knows what I'm talking about. 
But True. wow, this bay looks sick. Honestly, I think it looks so good. Um, the gimmick though is interesting. Like, I don't know how effective the gimmick is going to be, but essentially the blade design incorporates, I think, stamina, defense, and attack attributes all within the blade. Because so, it's a balance type? Yeah, since the balance type, exactly. So I'll throw up like the parts list here and you guys can take a look at it, but there's some highlighted blades on the picture there. And it talks about how like this blade in particular is, you know, focused on or has like a more stamina type design. And then this blade next to it is for attacks. I don't know how effective that is going to be. And the, the blade itself also looks really thin, but I don't know if it's just the picture. Um, yeah, either way though, the, the design, right? The mentality behind it is like, it's supposed to be good at, uh, at attacking, um, countering, and then there's like, um, a new stance of like avoidance or something like that. that. So it's like a jack of all trades sort of idea. As for the rest of the parts, you know, we do have some other new parts too. 360, obviously, yo, old news, but then yo, new bit though, Unite bit. Oh, that brings back memories, right? Oh, yeah. Shoo. Yes, and sir. Spriggan. And it's red too, so it looks really cool. Um, but the design though, like it's, I don't know, it's kind of similar to Point, right? It's not exactly the same, but it is very similar to Point. Yeah, it's like, would it even be able to do those movements that it's advertising for? Because um, with the Unite driver in Burst, we actually got like rubber. Yeah. So we're still not seeing any rubber with Beyblade X yet, which is a little bit sad, but uh, it, hopefully it behaves good. It's just so cool that, you know, we just got the Drigger release, right? And like now we're getting that modern version of that White Tiger avatar. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. I am hyped up, man. Yeah, they should have really called this like Cyber Drigger or something. <laughs> <laughs> it has, like, it has like that Cyber vibe to it a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, it could now just that be... you said that. Yeah, it could just be me or whatever, but yeah, no. I think it looks really good, guys. All right, so that's the big news. Looking forward to unboxing that. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of other, you know, limited edition BX00 releases announced as well. So hopefully we get all of the newer releases in our hands very soon. Yeah, so with that said, let's look at a few comments from the previous BBG talks from just a couple days ago where we talked about the Transformers collab and then we'll wrap things up. Overall though, it looks like everyone's pretty hyped up for this Transformers collaboration. Uh, there's a few funny comments here. Look at this, alternate title, Autobots, spin out instead of roll out. <laughs> uh, pretty clever. Clever. Pretty clever. Yeah. And one more comment here. Looks like there's some similar sen sentiments to what we're talking about. So as someone who grew up with both Transformers and Plastic Gen Bays, this brings two awesome things from my childhood together. Great job on this one. Yeah, oh. everyone is actually liking this collab. It's a strong start for Hasbro. Everyone's like jumping on the Hasbro game nowadays. And then I have a comment here. It's talking about uh, next, they're going to do a My Little Pony crossover since that's the other known franchise Hasbro has. It's uh, pretty funny because we have actually seen Hello Kitty collab, right? From the Japan side of things. So this is not impossible. <laughs> it's true. That's true. It's so funny because, you know, Hasbro has all these other brands under its umbrella, you know, like under its company and everything like that. And is My Little Pony going to be the next top pick after and Transformers? Also that, that cartoon is also heavily, you know, liked by the adult community. So <laughs> maybe, maybe this is like the Beyblade X trying to get more older audiences in, right? Like, come on, maybe this is the idea here, Hasbro. I don't know. Like, it might be... You know what? Honestly, I support it if they do it. Like, it's just for jokes. I would buy the heck out of it. So that pretty much wraps up this BBG Talks, guys. That is the game. Brand new Beyblade X Zone. And we have Vice Tiger coming out. Um, oh, also, we have, like, Shinobi Shadow obviously dropping in a few days here. So stay tuned for that. There's a lot of big stuff happening in the Beyblade world. Cannot wait to get our hands on everything and give you guys a review and whatnot. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought of those news. Um, any opinions? We want to know the hot takes from you guys. Yeah, That's sure. it. Like the video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out! out.